Hey everyone, how are you doing? So in this second video about Codebox, we are going to see how we can use parameters um, directly inside Codebox. So without creating the param graphical object like this, but instead just creating them inside Codebox like this. This will allow us to interact with uh, our algorithm inside uh, JITGEN with our matrix processing using some external input, so some parameter that we can change uh, inside our main patch. So, this is what we're going to do. Uh, let's start from scratch. I'm going to create a new JITGEN. Going to delete this one. Going to attach my video input here, my noise input in the second inlet of the JITGEN. And if I double click, this is a uh, our default JIT gen window. So it's simply, by default, as you know, it's simply summing up the input one with the input two. So the matrices that come in the two inlets. Great. So let's create our code box object. I will just replace this plus operator with a code box object. And as we saw, by default, it's just summing the input one plus input two in code box as well. So let's do as we did last time. Let's create our final color variable. Let's assign it to input one. And then we're going to create our output one and assign it to final color. So we are simply basically passing out our video from input one to output one. As you can see, since we don't have anymore an input two inside our code box, it deleted the second inlet of the code box object. So I cannot connect now the input to anywhere here. In order to have this, I have to create the I have to create an input to inside the code box. So for example, I could assign it to a variable that I call noise, and now I can connect them. Great. So how can we create parameters? Well, we can create them by using the param um, keyword inside the code box. So for example, I want to create something that is like a mixed value. I will call it mixed ball. And to assign it a default value, we have to put it inside parentheses. So I can put a default value of, let's say, 0.5. So this P that we see in the param keyword is actually a capital P. This must be capital because otherwise it will just give us an error. If I put it uh, small, it will uh, throw us an error that this actually doesn't work. So this must be always a capital P. Uh, let's actually write it down. P in param must be capital. Good. Um, there is another thing to note when creating parameters inside Codebox that they must be created before every other variable is declared. For example, if I create another variable here, I call it uh, just like variable and assign it to something, this will also give us an error. It will say that the param declaration must be the first inside our code. The comment doesn't count because as we know comments are not really uh, interpreted by the computer. So I cannot create variables before uh, uh, the declaration of the parameters. Let's actually write this down as well. So a param must be declared before other variables. So let's now use our, our parameter. We will just use it to mix. So we will use the mix operator, which is the same that we find actually in gen. We can create the mix object does exactly the same. So in codebox works like this. We say what we want to mix. So final color and noix, for example. And we will use as a mix factor our mix ball. Uh, parameter which by default is set by 0 0.5 so it will be exactly in the middle of the two things and uh, as you can see is giving us a bit of the video and a bit of the noise if i connect this um, mix val message followed by a value between 0 and 1 as you can see i'm just using a slider and dividing it by 127 so it gives us numbers between 0 and 1 uh, we could also set this by the inspector of the slider, but I prefer to do it like this because it's more explicit. So we can change which matrix we get as an output by using this uh, uh, slider. So mixing between 0 and 1. So we are interacting with our algorithm inside JITGEN by changing the mix value. Great. Let's now complicate a bit more this algorithm. We are going to sample the video and modify our sample coordinates using the noise. So let's create a new variable. Let's call it sampled bit. And this is going to, we're going to use the nearest operator to sample it. So the nearest operator will just uh, sample it according to normalized coordinates. And we have to sample input one using uh, as coordinates we are just going to use norm for the moment so the first 
argument for the nearest function is the matrix we want to sample and the second argument are the coordinates like when we created the nearest operator in gen as a graphical object the first input is going to be the matrix we want to sample and the second is going to be the coordinates normalized coordinates good so if we now uh, do something like this if we output now our video as the as the matrix when uh, uh, the mix value is zero we can see that we just get our video good but if we modify our sampling coordinates by adding to them uh, two values from the noise, so the first two planes, so noise, swiths, x, y, so we are getting two planes, the first two planes from the noise vector, um, then we can see that it gets completely uh, messed up because we are basically just randomly uh, sampling it using the noise values. Uh, the noise matrix is just 10 by 10, so when it comes inside the JIT gen, it's going to get the same resolution as the matrix that, uh, the same dimension as the matrix that comes from the left input, so it's just going to be um, upscaled without interpolation, that's why we see basically 10 by 10 uh, squares in this, in our modified uh, video. So that's pretty cool, but uh, actually let's do something different. Let's output... Uh, uh, let's actually assign this to instead of calling it a sample bit, we call it final color. And we're going to actually not mix between uh, our video and the noise. Let's actually mix between undistorted sampling coordinates and distorted sampling coordinates. So we will do like this we will simply uh, basically multiply our noise XY distortion factor by our mix value. Let's give it a try. So if we have it to zero, we have it simply the coordinates undistorted. If we start to multiply it by the mix val, we see that we start to modify our coordinates. Um, now maybe we want to have a bit less distortion so we can multiply this by a small factor, by a small number like 0.1 in order to reduce the amount of maximum distortion we can have. Something like that, great. Uh, we can also of course create another parameter and call it like a distortion amount or something like that, give it a default value of zero. Uh, and then actually replacing our magic number that we wrote 0.1 with our parameter. Oh, I put an L here by mistake, should be just a semicolon. Uh, I think I forgot to mention that in Codebox, so in Gen, we always have to have semicolons at the end of lines, otherwise it's going to throw us an error. So this means our line is over, go on uh, with some uh, other stuff. So we always have to put a semicolon. So let's create now a message to pass this uh, variable inside. As you can see, Max even suggests it to us how to complete my message box. And now I can uh, modify the amount of distortion I want from my video. And I can also just uh, slide always back. Um, actually, it's a bit dumb because <laughs> the mix value and the distortion amount do the same thing. But I just wanted to show you how we can have uh, two different parameters and use them both inside our code box. All right, sorry about sorry about this dumb algorithm, but uh, I don't know, maybe it's useful for some reason. But I hope you got the idea that uh, we can have multiple parameters and use them inside our code box. Could actually just call it like brightness and give it a default value of one. And then we could, uh, instead of multiply our distortion coordinates, we can just multiply our final color with a multiply equal sign, which means multiply uh, our variable for whatever we decide, and then use this as the final value. So instead of calling distortion amount, we call it brightness dollar one. And uh, yeah, we can decide in this way the brightness for our video, just to have a bit, uh, just to have a second parameter that makes a bit more sense. Cool. So this is it. I uh, hope this is clear. In the next video, we're going to see how we can declare also functions inside the code box and see some more stuff. I hope this was uh, interesting and useful. If you have comments or questions, just leave them here on YouTube. Uh, maybe also put a like to the video. This would be very much appreciated and follow the channel. And you can also check all my shared patches on my Patreon. And I hope I will see you in the next video. So have fun and see you soon. Ciao.